Okay. However, though, ro <laughs> however, though, Robo. <laughs> To this, either you or Daniel is gonna get a bonus ten thousand dollars. Let's find out who it is. Uh, oh, of all the buzz cards, it has to be this one. Lock, shock, and barrel recruit you to help them kidnap Sandy Claus. That's not very nice. Go back one space. <laughs> Well, it's Wednesday evening here at uh, the Spooktacular season 12, and we're in episode number nine. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Hope you all caught last night's episode because it was a very exciting show. We took the million dollar wedge with us in the bonus round. However, we ended up getting a different prize. We still threw in a lot of extra money in the pot, and I'm happy to say that our own 57 here. I'm sure that will change in a matter of moment to days. Well, I mean, never know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Don't be afraid to welcome the stars of our show. That's Jack and Vanna White! I think you were, afraid we're talking to like Barry. <laughs> no, not Barry. Uh, Robin Gitt from... Sir, what'd you say, Lee? I think when you said number nine, I thought you were talking like uh, like one of the Bee Gees, number nine, oh, because I think doing? they're British. We want to give away money right now. One thousand dollar toss-up. Oh yeah, that's right. Because they're British too. Yeah. I can listen to a lot more. Yeah. Category. Let's go. Hold man. on for a minute. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Oh yes, they uh Yeah! Are they are they really British or are they Australian? Strong start. We're gonna do Let another puzzle, check. this one worth two thousand dollars. Song title is what we're looking for this time. Van is all set and here we go. Okay, player one. Well, actually they were born in the UK, but they moved to Australia in the late That's 1950s. It. Uh -huh. three thousand dollars now. Good job, player one. Player one gets the 2,000. They'll spin first. Jim? Welcome to tonight's jackpot round. And here's tonight's featured prize. Experience the adventure of a lifetime in vibrant Barcelona. This seaside metropolis features a nice. wide range of bars, restaurants, and clubs, and is home to the yet unfinished Sagrada Familia and many other surreal architectural wonders. $8,500. Phrase is the category for this next round. Player one, your turn to start. Here we go. 
900. Yes, there is an S. Five hundred. Yep, we got five letters for you. Let's get those up there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, big money. All right, jackpot. Yeah. There are three of those. Letters are worth five hundred dollars each. Oh, hold on, I gotta get, I gotta get this stuff. <laughs> There's a jackpot that could be yours right now if you solve the puzzle. Right. Well, in regards to you having to get what you need to get, Sydney, all I can say to that is, that's half the battle. Yeah, that's 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 the battle
You've solved the puzzle and are one step closer to winning a new car. We'll be back after this. Really are a nuisance player. Uh. Okay, everybody, what are you doing is the category for our next puzzle. As for why I, I, I you haven't heard my voice in a while, I was just listening to a song. But as for what song I'm listening to, it's none of your <laughs> business. <laughs> but I will say this. It's a damn good song. What's that magical sound? What song is it? And our first spinner will be player three. What song is it, me? Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me DM that to you. 500. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? There's uh, none of those. Or, Sorry. Or, or even better, just to be, uh, in the uh, This is for you, Sydney. Okay. Look it's it my first time hearing it, too. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> now I gotta buy that album just to have that recorded? Yeah. 300. There is a G. Yeah! <laughs> Interesting song. I don't think I've heard that song before. Five hundred. It's it's actually there very beautiful, and, and I think uh, uh, it was it was made a little bit more famous by yeah. the youngest Andy. Uh, but well, let's uh, have your vibe. You the got themselves uh, made a recording for that particular compilation album. Okay. So it was the Bee Gees who wrote it. Um, it's a uh, Fever, not Bee Gees. Can you mention that I listen to them regularly, even when I play Fall Guys? Five hundred. There is a key. <laughs> yeah, yeah, woo! Four hundred. There is a W. <laughs> Five hundred. Come on, big money! Six hundred. Yes, there is an H. <laughs> Five hundred. There are two of those. Excuse me. There are two of those. Excuse me again. I forgot to be myself, and I apologize for that. Three hundred. Two of them. We have run out of time. I know I said this earlier, but Cinderella. <laughs> Okay, go for it, player. I know, I've got a hanker hankering out of that song. Celebrating its 75th anniversary. Can you believe that? No, I don't believe that. In which, of course, I did a special. Catch a dolphin show or ride the roller coasters at any of the many theme parks. $6,000. Not only did you win some cash, but you also picked up a prize along the way. Congratulations. We'll be back in just a second. All right, toss up $3,000. Person is what we're looking for this time. Let's go, Vanna. Okay, player one. Like you. winner of that toss-up was player one, and they're going to give that wheel a spin. Right, now i got to buy that album, this too. Time. Player one, your turn to start.
550. Nope, sorry. Oh. Here we are, Will. <laughs> oh, down to zero. Four hundred. Oh. None of those. All right, let's move the game Wait, along and give the wheel a final spin. After you guess a letter in the puzzle, you have fifteen Featuring seconds some to solve. Vowels are worth nothing. Consonants are worth one thousand dollars plus whatever value I spin. Seven hundred. Give us a letter, player one. T no, bad luck. Oh. Sorry, none of those. Oh. You know what? There's none of those. Sorry. Nope, next time. There is an A. Vowels are worth zero, but you still have the 15 seconds. Time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo. Player one is going to try to solve the puzzle. Yeah, congratulations. Good job on this last puzzle. You're the big winner. Bonus round for you. Second place is not a bad place to be when you've won this much cash. The wheel gave you a little trouble there, but you still did all right. <laughs> Give that bonus wheel a spin and see what happens. Okay, I've got your envelope now. Now we're looking for phrase. Right. R-S-T-L-N-E, Vanna. We need three more consonants and a vowel. Let's see what we've got here. Once again, we fill in the puzzle entirely. Gotta stay away. 80 seconds to solve you solved the puzzle. Let's see if you want. You're on the fast track to big cash, $30,000. Bye, thanks for playing. Go ahead. Bye bye. Let's look at the stats. Okay, winner number nine is going to be crowned right after I enjoy this uh, delicious uh, pumpkin spice flavored coffee. And I just drank it in like three seconds. But anyway, now that the coffee's in, I'm going to be very excited to crown winner number nine in three, two, one. Survey chose you. And that person would be C3PO66, otherwise known as Corey Lawrence. Yay! Congratulations, Corey. So $91,950 is what Corey gets, and our jackpot, I'll repeat it again, is at $1,144,400. We've still yet to crown a millionaire this season, but we're going to give it our all, and we'll try again for episode 10 tomorrow night, Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central Time. Join us then. And until then, folks, this is Tenacious Lee reminding you to report suspicious activities as well as emergencies, including but not limited to fires and medical situations to authorities by calling 911. If you see something, say something. And while you're at it, take care of yourself. And in particular, your mental health. And it's extremely important that you focus on that. And you're amazing and wonderful, and we all love you for who you are. Good night, everybody. <laughs>